Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Uh, today is day six of awe and it's pouring rain outside. Um, it's got a very cozy feeling to it. Um, moving or being moved in our lives. Um, and that's for me, something about inhabiting how and who we are in our lives. And it's not about having a life that's all tidy and whatever it's, it's about having a life that we were feeling and being in and experiencing and being moved by it. It's like being moved by awe, you know, by being moved by the power of our own being, um, the emotions, the sensations, and doing it in present time. Um, so we're going to practice a little bit, just deepen into that being moved by sensation today. And um, it's not about the the amount we move it's how we inhabit our movements actually it's not about how much you do it's how present can you be in what you're doing um and so each of us should be editing adjusting modifying poses and really being in this truth in your body as it is right now so come sit and light your candles with me come oil maybe mm. some contact really feeling it being in that contact bring your hands to your heart and just notice what is in this moment in the deep of you as you inhale. And it's not about the action of inhale, it's experiencing what you feel as you inhale. So as you inhale, as you exhale, be present. Can you, can you be moved by your breath? Can you allow the deep of you to begin to rise and drop on the breath? Often I'll find that there's a part of me that's separate from the action that I'm doing. And so my practice at the moment is how do I be in the movement that I'm doing in a very wholesome and embodied way? So even my breath, how do I be my breath right now? How do I allow it to touch me and move me? There's a, a poignant, sweet emotionality to it for me. There's tears at the back of it. There's a fullness in my breath that I'm very grateful for. It's the experience of now. I can feel my face trembling slightly, the, the, the movement of life within me, the stress of all the stuff that's going on. I just feel that, you know, in this moment, be with all of this. Softly, kindly, sweetly, awesomely. Nice. So I'm going to move because I, I moved to my mat, but you can just stay seated on your, your pillow thing, or you can stretch your legs out wide. We're just going to just research a little bit into that thing of being moved by the movement that we make. Um, and so in the beginning, don't just move your arms so they're back to front and then move your arms so they're facing upwards. And I'm, I'm not letting the movement travel any further than my shoulder blades. I'm not really letting my torso move as I do this. I'm just doing an action with my arms. My arms turn backwards and my arms turn forwards. And now we're going to take all this feeling that we have in our torso and begin to include our torso and our feeling tones into the movement that we create. So as you round forward, let yourself be deeply squished. 
And as you open, allow lengthening and opening through the front of your body. Let your breath inhabit deeply into your belly as you move from one to the other. Nice, bring your arms down, just pause for a moment. So reach your hands forward and bring your fingertips to touch. So my fingers are touching, my thumbs are touching. And imagine you're pulling a thread wide. And as you pull the thread wide, feel like there's something opening and widening through the deep of your belly, the deep of your chest. So you're widening with intention, pulling wide. Turn the backs of your hands forward, your wrists turn forward. Bring the backs of your wrists together and then scoop your hands towards your belly and offer all that you are forward into your hands. Thumb and forefinger touch, reaching wide. Back of your hands come together and then scoop towards your heart and offer all that is forward to. Really be present to all of that. Thumb and forefinger touch, down, wide. Back of your hands come together, scoop towards your belly, offering all that is forward. Thumb and forefinger touch, reach wide. Scoop your hands, back of your hands come together towards your heart and forward. So just for a few moments, move. It doesn't really matter what you're doing, but feel like as you move your hands towards you that there's this sense of really deeply feeling into the gestures and the movements that you're doing. So we are being moved by the movement. We are inhabiting a kind of a sense of awe. So cultivate that movement, that sense of deep and powerful connection into the gestures you're creating, the gestures that are you. One more time from wherever you are, offering forth and wide. So my intention with awe is to, to bring more of that into our bodies, more of that connectedness of, of expressing and feeling and being in our bodies in a sense of safety and wellness. So come into your cat position. Hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. Round your back and travel your bum back. And then stay rounded, come forward. When you're all the way forward, then arch your back, bring your chest down. Nice, rounding your back, sit your bum back. As you come forward, bring your chest down. Are you staying connected? So for me, I inhale on the back. I continue to inhale on the forward. And then as I drop my chest down, I exhale deeply. Inhale, sit your bum back. Inhale, travel forward. Exhale, drop your chest down. As you straighten your arms, you're still exhaling. Inhaling, it doesn't really matter what you're doing with your breath, but this is one that I found that suited me. One more time. Be moved by this. Nice. From here, stretch your right leg long behind you and then bend your knee towards your elbow. Stretch your leg long behind you. Elbow. Long behind you. Next time that you bring your knee forward, bring your foot to the outside of your right hand. Round your back, sit your bum back. So it's the same movement we did a moment ago, but now our leg is doing something different, obviously. All the way forward, stay rounded, and then arch your back. Try and bring your chin down towards the floor. It's never going to get there. <laughs> Round your back, sit your bum back. Arching when you're all the way forward, bending your elbow slightly. Rounding, sit your bum back. Arching, drop forward, nice. Bring your right hand to your knee, left hand to your knee. Bring both hands into a prayer position on the up and then reach your arms up, look up. Bring your palms into prayer position again or keep your, uh, bend your elbows and then bring your elbow to the outside of the right knee, left elbow, right knee. 
reach your arms up and then bring your right shoulder down to the right knee rising up left elbow down to your knee up be moved by this and shoulder down to your knee one more time Elbow down to your knee, pause there. Actually let your elbow touch, pausing there, turn your right shoulder back a little bit more, bend your front knee. Nice, both hands to the floor, bring both knees back. Other side, stretch the left leg long, bend your knee to your elbow. Use your breath, really deepen your breath. Next time your foot swings forward, bring it to the outside of your left hand. Rounding, sitting your bum back, breathing. When you're all the way forward, arch your back like you're trying to bring your chest and your chin down towards the floor. Rounding, sit your bum back. Arching when you're all the way forward. One more time, rounding. Breathing, connecting. Nice, bring your hands together into prayer position, rising up, and then reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And then bring your right elbow down to the left knee. Rising up. And bring your left elbow down to your, no, left shoulder down to your left knee. Up. Elbow goes down. Up. Shoulder comes down. Nice. Next time your elbow goes over, pause. Elbow goes over towards the left knee. Pause there. Really hold your elbow against your knee, your knee against your elbow. You're in deep contact. Twist your body. Really deepen into your breath. Nice. Both hands to the floor. Step back into your downward dog. Just. Wiggle out your knees. We were kneeling for a fair bit there. Just bending one knee, bending the other. Let your torso move as you do this. You know, I love turning my toes from side to side and dropping my bum down from side to side. It's very satisfying, deeply relieving into my rib cage, rocking forward into a plank or back into crouching. One more time, just find some movement that moves you in your body, connects you in your body. Nice, walk all the way forward to the front of your mat. Slowly rolling up, reach your arms wide, palms come together, palms come to rest in front of your chest. So from here, round your back and turn your palms back to front. And then turn your palms up and look up. So try and lean into your chest. As I round my back, I can even bring my fingers behind me. And then as I look up, lean into your chest. So fingers touch behind you as you round forward. Arching, looking up. Let yourself be cleaned out or deeply met by this movement. One more time. Fingers touch behind you, perhaps. Torso open. Nice. Come forward to the front of your mat. I think you were there already, but I wasn't. <laughs> so reach your arms wide, bring your palms together, reaching up, looking up. Bending your elbows, bending your knees, coming down, hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands high on your shins, lift your chest, look forward. Hands to the floor, step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Each time you move, be in your movement, be in your body. Drop your knees to the floor, belly comes down. And bring both elbows so they're resting in front of you. And then reach the right hand forward. Lift the left leg up. Pull the right elbow back, drop the left leg down. So you're doing that seesaw movement. Right hand goes forward, left leg goes up. Right elbow comes back. Left leg goes down. So just seesaw. Marjorie Daw. I don't know any of the rest of that poem. 
Cesar Madrid or no, no idea. Let yourself really feel your breath as you move. Feel the deep of your torso opening and lengthening. Nice, one more time. Super cool, both hands to the floor. Push back, push back, downward dog. Now step the right foot forward between your hands. Turn the back foot at a 45 degree angle. Rise up and face forward over the front leg, right leg. Reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Reach up and look up. Nice. Palms together, palms in front of your chest, and bring your left elbow down towards your right knee. Turn your torso towards the left, and then bring your right shoulder down to your right knee. If you're not doing this deep, then just do it that you jump hands and hands. So you're just keeping one hand on your knee and changing hands. So bring your left elbow down to your right knee. Bring your right shoulder down to your right knee. One more time. Left down. Pause there with your elbow either on your knee or outside your knee. Twist deeply. Feel through the body. Be in your body. Like feel what this does to you in a very embodied, I'm going to say emotional way. It's like when I include that in my yoga, suddenly there's something much deeper that happens than putting my foot behind my head. Not that I bother to do that. <laughs> Step forward, slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. Palms come to rest in front of your chest. So this practice for me is a way of me being in my life in a more wholesome way. Nice, reaching wide, bring your palms together. Bending your elbows, bending your knees, coming down. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins, lengthen, look forward. Hands to the floor, step your left foot back. Step your right foot back. Knees to the floor, belly to the floor. So bend your elbows, left hand is on top. Reach your left hand forward, reach the right leg up. Pull the left elbow back, drop the right leg down. So seesaw, right, left hand forward, right leg up, left elbow back, right leg down. So just feel the opposite leg reaches up and then the opposite arm, elbow pulls back. Only one at a time. Just love this movement, oh, it's just so amazing. I feel like I'm being rolled out through the deep of my belly. Be in your belly, be in your body as you move. Nice. Both hands to the floor, push back, push back, downward dog. So beautiful. So step your left foot forward. Hop, skip, jump, help your left foot forward. Turn your back foot 45 degree angle. Rise up, face the right left leg. As you rise, palms together into a prayer position. From here, bring your right elbow down to your left knee. Turn towards the right. Bring your left shoulder down to your left knee. Turn, elbow down. Shoulder down. Nice. Elbow down. Shoulder down. Next time you're gonna hold it. So bring your right elbow across, either place it on top or outside your knee. Twist towards the left. Nice, both hands to the floor, step forward. Slowly rolling up, reach your arms wide, palms come together. Palms come to rest in front of your chest. Come sit on the floor. You can have your little pillow cushion thing if you want. Bring your hands to your heart. And 
Anything to settle into all of that. Just because it's so beautiful, we're going to end the practice today with that Hasta Padma Hasta Manamaskar, which is hand salutation. So bring your hands together, thumb and forefinger touch, pull your arms wide. Allow your chest to lean into the space in front of you as you bring your arms wide. Back of your hands come together. Feel the deep of the back of you rounding. Scoop your hands towards your belly. And then widen. I feel like I open like a flower through my belly as I do this. Thumb and forefinger touch, reach wide. Back of your hands come together. And then scoop from your heart. And allow all of that to shine forth and be present. Wide. Down low, scoop towards your belly. Just begin to flow your flow in this. You can do you know, a country dancing version of this. You can do a seaweed arms version of this. You can do the bilateral, so the two sides do the same thing. Or you can do a seaweed arms version where you're using gesture and grace and smoothness to feel into or move into the deep of your torso. You can go wide and up, and then you can scoop down to bring your fingers behind you. You can reach one arm up. Just feel like, how would you just move your arms like an octopus in a way that not about your arms, but about what happens through the torso. I'm going to go back to the very first one. The gesture of offering forth is just so powerful in me. I just feel like, oh, you know, to be, to be seen, to be, to witness, to see myself, to really be with all of this. One more time. Now let's bring your palms together. I'm just trying to carry my microphones in the way. I really like when my thumbs push into my breastbone and I have that sense of contact through this chest and I kind of push my chest into my thumbs as my thumbs push into my chest and it just cracks me open even deeper. Just breathe into your belly. Nice. So come lie on the floor if you have time. It'd be wonderful. Um, <laughs> all is consistently 22, 23, 24 minutes long. So sorry for taking up three minutes extra in your day, but I feel like it's really important. I feel like this connection this being moved by the deep of us is really important, this space for stillness and silence in ourselves. Um, so I'll see you all tomorrow. And um, yeah, keep noticing where you're moved by things in your life and how do you stay present to that rather than shutting down, avoiding, numbing, distracting, just staying with in kindness and movement in breath. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.